Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. Thank you for watching at home. <laughs> Guys, it seems like there's so much going on right now. Uh, th this weekend, President Biden tested positive again for COVID. Uh, yeah, someone in Illinois won the $1.3 billion Mega Millions jackpot. Tonight was a new episode of The Bachelorette. And, and Applebee's is selling chicken wing flavored lip gloss. Yeah. There's a lot to go over. Let's just uh, jump in, cover it all at once. It's time for a news smash. Here we go. First up, after testing negative for COVID last week, President Biden has tested positive again in a rebound case. Wow, the odds of that happening are like one in a billion. That's how <laughs> much cash the Mega Millions winner is taking home. With a bank account like that, they'll never have a job again. Kind of like every contestant on The Bachelorette. <laughs> Gabby and Rachel have narrowed it down to about a dozen guys. They've come on, uh, they went on dates to Paris. They flew on helicopters, unlike the real world, where your first date is usually at Applebee's. <laughs> They're making an all-new chicken wing flavored lip gloss. The only way you're going to want to slap that on your lips is if you can't taste or smell. COVID... <laughs> it's hard for Biden. It's no fun being isolated and alone when you're someone who's so gabby. <laughs> will she get her man or will Rachel swoop in and steal him? Pretty soon, they'll be off to the fantasy suite trying to get lucky. <laughs> Imagine your friend winning the lottery. If you were ever mean to them, it's definitely time for you to pucker up. Seriously, <laughs> chicken wing lip gloss from a chain restaurant? I mean, rubbing that on your face feels like a real gamble. <laughs> I, the winner is sure glad they did, but you know they were at home double, triple, and quadruple checking just to be positive. When <laughs> he found out that he's still contagious, Biden got sent home alone in a limo, just like a loser on The Bachelorette. <laughs> the winners get the girls, while the losers might as well be boneless. <laughs> so in conclusion, Get a rose. That blows. So close. So gross. This has been a news news. That's right. That's right. Over the weekend, President Biden returned to isolation after once again testing positive for COVID in what his doctor called a rebound case. Right now, Biden's looking on the bright side. He's like, well, at least my COVID got a second term. That's right, a rebound case of COVID. Usually when a 79-year-old is on the rebound, you're meeting your new aunt named Barbara. <laughs> That's right, the virus came back so fast, staffers didn't even have time to take down the get well soon balloons. They're like, wait, <laughs> you just... Luckily, Biden's doing okay. He's back to binge-watching Matlock right off of where he left off. <laughs> Biden has COVID again. He was positive, then negative. Now he's back to positive. They're saying it's because of the medicine he took, but I think it might be something else. Watch this commercial I saw the other day. Do you love practical joke? Then pick up Vladimir Putin's trick COVID test. The only test that trick you. <laughs> it's a positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then monkeypox, then pregnant. Vladimir Putin's trick COVID test. Used by White House and they don't even know. <laughs> oh, <maybe. laughs> He's selling trick COVID test. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Spe speaking of COVID, <laughs> the White House is planning to offer updated booster shots to Americans this fall. Yep, it's still the same booster, except uh, these are going to be pumpkin spice. <laughs> Meanwhile, this weekend, former President Trump was busy hosting the Saudi Arabia-backed live golf tournament at his club in New Jersey. And I saw a photo of him singing the national anthem. I thought it was funny. Look at this. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's either singing the national anthem or burping up a hot dog. I don't know what. <laughs> but this is fun. If you hit a golf ball in his mouth, you win a free round. Really? Isn't that fun? I think oh. it's cool. Uh, well, it was a life-changing weekend for the person in Illinois who purchased the winning ticket for the $1.3 billion Mega Millions jackpot. Uh, the winner hasn't come forward yet, so either they're contacting financial experts or they're at home like, crap, where is it? All right, I had it in my... I went swimming, I went swimming. All right, no one turn on the washing machine. No one do anything. 
No one do anything. Where was it? I had it. Why do shirts have pockets? Too many pockets. But it's a great story. I mean, one person hit the mega, uh, that's, that's a lot of money right there, $1.3 billion. I mean, I played, I only got one number. Uh, Tariq, how about you? I didn't play. Well, the odds are a trillion to one. And, you know, what am I supposed to believe that I have a chance? Like, if I pick, I don't know, 13 for my wife's birthday and then, like, 36 and 45 because those are the two streets I lived on as a kid and then 57 and 67 because they're the uniform numbers of my favorite athletes and then 14 because this is my lucky number? <laughs> Please. Uh, Tariq, 13, 36, 45, 57, 67, and 14 were the winning numbers. Um, I'm sorry, what, what's this now? <laughs> you just randomly selected the numbers that would have won you over a billion dollars. Uh, will you excuse me? <laughs> I'm, um, happy for the winner. Yeah, yeah, good, good, nice to see you. Yeah, the chase for the big Mega Millions prize is over now, but that hasn't stopped reporters from telling us just how unlikely it was that we would have, we would have ever won this. Listen to this. The odds of winning were astronomical, one in 303 million. According to some experts, you are nearly three times more likely to be killed by a vending machine-related accident. You're more likely to be hit by a meteorite. You have better odds of being struck by lightning. You are more likely to be killed by a swarm of bees or hornets. You had a better chance of having a toilet-related injury, whatever that means. Toilet-related toilet related injury? <laughs> <laughs> With the vending machine? God, the odds of getting struck by lightning on a toilet must be yeah. insane. Uh, <laughs> switching gears on Saturday, Pope Francis acknowledged that he will need to slow down or retire. So I guess we know who won the Mega Millions. Congratulations, <laughs> Your Holiness. You can tell the Pope is ready to retire. Today, someone asked him uh, for a miracle, and he was like, what do we look like, a freaking genie over here? <laughs> Some business news. I read that today the CEO of Carnival Cruise Line is stepped down. Oh. Yeah, apparently he was tired of being in charge of toilet-related injuries. <laughs> Some entertainment news. Uh, Disney Plus is working on a live-action Aragon TV series. Ooh. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, the, here's, the, uh, here's the trailer for it. Aragon, the most popular books of 2002. Now, just 20 short years later, it's finally time for this beloved series about horses? Or like frogs? Or was it unicorns? I forget. Aragon, prepare to be reminded. Wow. Right. What was that about? Guys, did you see this video of uh, passengers on a Frontier Airlines flight uh, being sprayed with some refreshing mist, yeah. apparently? <laughs> it's a thing they do, but it, this, this looks a little thick. Uh, check this out. Wow. Yo. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's... They, they call this the vegetable aisle at Kroger experience. <laughs> First time a flight's been delayed because of bad weather inside the plane. <laughs> and yet somehow the chicken was still dry. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> Guys, finally, you ever see a photo in the news and think that headline should be different? Well, we'll take care of that right now. It's time for News and Improved. Here we go. <laughs> for example, check out this first photo. The original headline was Boris Johnson Visits Research Institute. That headline can definitely be improved, because if you only looked at the photo, the headline could have been, Plinko contestant gets way too high before a game. <laughs> uh, up next, this headline says, a New York City mayor launches loan forgiveness program. Headline could have been, man attends Comic-Con dressed as Chef Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> next headline was, Prince Charles arrives to Commonwealth Games. Headline could have been, guy who didn't shoplift from Best Buy still panicked by the alarm. <laughs> Next headline was, Kamala Harris meets with Virginia legislators. 
Headline could have been, woman already on fifth, oh, wow. And friend's story seems nowhere near over. <laughs> Next headline was, Pope Francis begins pastoral visit to Canada. Headline could have been, so me and a rabbi walk into a bar. <laughs> what, else is what else is going on? This next headline was, Prince William attends Royal Ascot races. Headline could have been, Young Mr. Monopoly picked up for second season. <laughs> check that out. And finally, this headline was, USA wins gold in World Athletics Championships. Headline could have been, Last guy still playing Wordle, just got it in two. <laughs> That's all that we have for news and improvement. Let's get to some news. Well, guys, last night, President Biden made the big announcement that the U.S. took out the leader of al-Qaeda, Ayman al-Zawahiri, with a drone strike. Watch this. We make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. I'm pretty sure he's just quoting Liam Neeson in Taken, but it, it works. It works. Whatever it was, it works. That's right. We will find you. Yeah, Biden took out Al Zawahiri, Obama took out bin Laden, and Trump said, okay, who wants order takeout? Let's get, I'm getting two buckets for me. I'm getting the double bucket. <laughs> yeah, they took him out with a drone. If that didn't work, they were just gonna send him an envelope that Biden licked. That's right, they got him with the drone. His last words were, wait, did I order same-day delivery? What is that? <laughs> yeah, Biden's on quite a run. Last week, the climate and economy bill. This week, a major al-Qaeda takedown. Is it just me, or, or is COVID really working for Biden? Now, this is... <laughs> I re remember the 2020 election? He, he basically won that from his basement. <laughs> I think the takeaway for Biden is order a Snuggie and stay home. This is all good, but... <laughs> this is good for you, Joe. Uh, you can tell Biden's feeling pretty good about the week he's uh, having. In fact, he even uh, sent his team an idea for his official White House portrait. Take a look at this. Not bad. <laughs> I like it. Nice. I like it. <laughs> well, everyone's talking about this, even though China said that there would be consequences, Nancy Pelosi ignored the warnings and decided to visit Taiwan. Poor Biden. Uh, he took out the top leader of al-Qaeda, and everyone's like, yeah, 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 Nancy just landed in Taiwan. What's going on? <laughs> Biden's like, it's a bold move that definitely could have waited until I was out of office. <laughs> Pelosi has clearly stolen the headlines from Biden. Uh, now to get back on top, Biden's thinking about getting COVID a third time. <laughs> Most Americans didn't care that China was mad until they remembered that China still owns TikTok. They're like, Nancy, what have you done? <laughs> Russia weighed in on Pelosi's trip and said that her visit is uh, provocative and increases tensions. Yeah, even China was like, uh, you might want to sit this one out, R Russia. <laughs> Do you guys hear about this? The, the Missouri Senate Republican primary was today, and in head of the vote, former President Trump endorsed Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only problem is there are two Eric's in the race. And both of them claim that the endorsement was for them. <laughs> That's like a bachelorette saying that she's falling for Ryan. It's like, what? <laughs> there's three Ryans. Ryan M or Ryan B? <laughs> Either way, tonight Trump's gonna be like, I called it Eric One. He's my favorite Eric. <laughs> He's the most beautiful Eric. Double bucket me. <laughs> uh, guys, listen to this. I read that uh, Tiger Woods turned down an $800 million offer to join the Saudi-backed Live Golf Tournament. <laughs> yeah. He turned them down. Last time Tiger lost $800 million is when he dropped his wallet. Hey. <laughs> Some business news. Uh, Amazon just started offering same-day deliveries from mall stores like Diesel, PacSun, and GNC. That's right. It's big news. Diesel is still in business. <laughs> yeah, they're making deliveries from Diesel, PacSun, and apparently 2007. Hey, guys, I saw that over 100,000 pounds of frozen P.F. Chang's meals were recalled because they were mislabeled as food. <laughs> no, I'm just, hey, 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 come on now. Come on. 
Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Yep, some uh, TV news on last night's episode of The Bachelorette. There were uh, lots of deep conversations. One moment in particular was so powerful that it inspired some new drinking games. Yeah, uh, that's right, Jimmy. I decided to play a drinking game where I take a shot every time Gabby says, yeah, on her date with Jason. Tariq, that sounds really dangerous. Come on, Jimmy. How many times can she say it on one date? <laughs> Roll the clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay, Tree? <laughs> You're my best friend, Jimmy. We we should start a band. We should all start a band together. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. All right, very good. Why don't you why don't you take him? Take him backstage and let him lie down in an army cot. <laughs> Deep cut. No. And let him dry. Let him dry off. Nice <laughs> yeah. yeah, last night's episode of The Bachelorette got pretty intense. <laughs> Rachel broke up with Hayden, but Hayden kept talking about how much he loves his dog Rambo. Yeah, and the show can get pretty emotional, so I thought that we could help. Here's that moment, revoiced with the least emotional person we know, Siri. This is Let's Get Serious. Let's get serious. Do you know why I'm talking to you right now? No, Rachel, I don't. You don't know? I'm assuming it's about Rambo. About the dog? Uh, I think so. I was willing to kind of move forward this week. And the next day, you went and said, I can't trust these bitches. That's not what I said. Did you make comments comparing me to your ex? No. 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 This is kind of the end of my road. I'm hitting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock and I can't keep doing it. Can I walk you out? Yes. I am blessed that I have Rambo, who loves me unconditionally. I'm ready. I'm ready to see Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. <laughs> Hey, guys, uh, get this. A man in New Hampshire was arrested after police said that he was driving 161 miles per hour in a 70-mile-per-hour zone. Ooh. Yeah, when they asked him if he saw the speed limit, he said, I couldn't, the sign was blurred. <laughs> a lot of people are talking about this. It was just revealed that the Pentagon deleted all January 6th related text messages from the phones of key Trump defense officials. Yeah. <laughs> when she heard, Hillary Clinton was like, well, well, well. <laughs> I actually think Trump had nothing to do with this. If he was involved, the phones wouldn't have been wiped. They would have been flushed. <laughs> Listen to this. FEMA just warned that if the software for the national alert system isn't updated, it could be hacked to send out fake emergency alerts. <laughs> Even worse, FEMA heard it was like, oh, no, that message didn't come from us. <laughs> <laughs> well, some more news from Washington. President Biden still testing positive for COVID, but his doctor said that he's feeling good and that his uh, only lingering symptom is a loose cough. Oh, gross. Please. <laughs> don't, don't say those words. Say what? Say loose, loose cough. Oh, come on, Jimmy. I, I can't hear that phrase, man. Don't say it again. Well, well, I'm just telling people the news. President Biden has a loose cough. Quote, unquote, loose cough. A bit of a loose cough. Loose cough. A loose cough. Loose cough. A loose cough. Jimmy, come on, man. Seriously, I'm going to throw up in my hat. From, 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 from what? From what? From just hearing this? The president's doctor says he has a loose cough. But has a loose cough. A loose cough. A bit of a loose cough. A loose cough. Kind of loose cough. All right, man, enough. You won. Just, just talk about something else. Like, like, like what? Like I what? don't know. There's something bland, like the weather. <laughs> okay, then. A moist feeling hanging over the city right now. Sticky, mugginess, still hot and sticky. Steam, sticky, yes. yeah, sweaty. Are you proud of yourself? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am a little bit, yeah. Moving on. Three cry, everybody. Yeah. Moist weather. Moist. He has a moist cough. Moist cough. Uh, moving on, I read that the White House has sanctioned a woman who is believed to be Vladimir Putin's girlfriend. Ooh. It's weird when your girlfriend breaks up with you and says, it's not you, it's the international sanctions. <laughs> Some business news. Uh, Tinder just announced that their CEO is stepping down. Yep, she's been there less than a year, but ironically, it's still the longest ever relationship on Tinder. <laughs> yep, since it's Tinder, I'm surprised it wasn't announced and then the CEO didn't just ghost the company. 
Uh, but this was nice. On her last day, the whole staff made her a giant collage of unsolicited naked selfies. Oh. That was sweet. Uh, well, guys, everyone loves TikTok, but sometimes you just want to skip the boring parts of a video and get right to the good part. Well, we are here to help you. For instance, if you're watching this video, you can skip this part. Yeah. And just go right to, to this. <laughs> We need help. We... <laughs> she tricked the dog. Yeah, tricked really that tricked dog. that dog. That yeah, dog. yeah. That dog's dumb. Yeah, she, that dog is dumb, right? That dog's dumb, man. Yeah. You can't figure out nothing. <laughs> <Whack>. <laughs> Idiot of a dog. How did they build their house wrong? <laughs> let me. How did they... <laughs> let me give you another example. Uh, during this production of Peter Pan, you could skip right. this part. Yeah, yeah, and just go right to this part. That's an entrance. <laughs> That's an entrance wow. right there. I love that. Uh, and this one, oh man, this one would be my favorite. Here's a final example. You can skip this part. Cheers, cheers. You, you won't believe oh. it. And you go right to this part. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. oh. Moist That's cough. Right. Yeah, loose oh. cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh Some entertainment news. Uh, Warner Brothers spent $90 million on its upcoming Batgirl movie, but following poor test audience reviews, they decided not to release it anywhere. Ooh. I gotta say, if this is part of a marketing scheme, it's working, because now I really want to see this movie. <laughs> I mean, this is rough. I mean, there's a TV series about Alfred the Butler, but this is where they drew the line? <laughs> How bad could it be? I mean, not only did Cats get released, it was in theaters for two whole months. <laughs> well, we asked Warner Brothers to send over the best parts of the movie so we could judge for ourselves, and this is what we got. <laughs> no, there you go. Hey, guys, listen to this. I read that CNN is really struggling right now as their ratings have plummeted nearly 30% since last year. The bad news is CNN had to report the story. The good news is <laughs> nobody really saw it. You know, so... <laughs> Apparently, CNN's losing so much money, they just took Wolf Blitzer and Anderson Cooper to a pawn shop and tried to sell them as silver. What? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're always trying to put a positive spin on the news, so to make things seem a little lighter, we took some news clips and put a Snapchat filter on them. It's time for filtered news. Check this out. <laughs> Two top aides to former Vice President Pence have now testified before a federal grand jury. In Washington, President Biden is in isolation again after another positive COVID test over the weekend. Sources say the Homeland Security Inspector General first learned of missing Secret Service texts in May of 2021. The Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates for the fourth time this year. In Washington, a troubling report on the U.S. economy is raising new concerns about a recession. Socks are falling apart, but let's build for the future at least. John, that was expert work. You turned the Mega Millions into book promotion, then into Red Sox promotion. <laughs> CNN can now reveal how Russia stopped democratic change over 6,000 miles yeah, away in Sudan. Go. That's right. There you go. Right. <laughs> hey, you guys, get this. It was just announced that private companies flying to the International Space Station will have to be chaperoned by a former NASA astronaut. Yep, space chaperones. Yeah. Yep, they make sure everyone keeps their rocket in their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> of course, they'll have that one fun chaperone who's like, hey, I spiked the town. <laughs> Let's get to some news, guys. Today, the Biden administration officially declared monkeypox a public health emergency. Yeah, another public health emergency. Dr. Fauci heard and was like, you know, I think I'm going to move my retirement date up just a few months. <laughs> Now that an emergency has been declared, vaccine production will ramp up. Pfizer said, on it. Moderna said, on it. Johnson & Johnson said, not it. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> but Biden has been criticized for not moving faster to address the crisis. Today, he was like, I'm sorry, which of the current 40 crises are you referring to? <laughs> the president has been criticized for not moving faster. Biden heard and was like, I'm 79 and moving as fast as I can. <laughs> what do you want me to do? 
Some news from overseas in response to Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. China has been conducting military exercises around the island. You know a diplomatic visit went well when it's followed by a missile strike, you know? <laughs> Pelosi went to, to Taiwan, said hello, and then hopped on her plane and was like, good luck with all that. Uh, <laughs> some more news from overseas. Today, six months after she was arrested, Brittany Griner was sentenced to nine and a half years in a Russian prison. Now Biden will try to negotiate a deal to bring her home, and if that doesn't work, he's going to send Jon Stewart to get the job done for her. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Thank God for Jon Stewart. You guys see this? Alex Jones is currently being sued for defamation. And yesterday in court, he was on stand when he learned that his attorneys accidentally sent years of his texts and emails to the rival lawyers, which proved that he had lied under oath. Even Rudy Giuliani was like, what the hell kind of idiot lawyer did you hire? Yeah, there's so much crazy stuff going on right now, and we're living through some tense times, but we finally got some good news on an issue everyone's been worried about. Check this out. Klondike now says it could bring back the beloved Choco Taco in the coming years. That's right, President Biden is getting some things done. That's right. The Choco Taco could return in the coming years. Apparently, you cannot rush the artisanal process of folding an ice cream cone in half. <laughs> Some entertainment news. Tomorrow, Netflix is debuting a big new series called The Sandman. Everyone's talking about this. It's about another world that exists when we sleep. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, well, actually, when they made The Sandman, I guess they decided to have all the characters voiced by uh, the other Sandman, Adam Sandler. Really? This is, yeah, check out the trailer I saw today. Uh, yes. Yes. That's good. Oh, yeah. That looked good. Hey, get this. I heard that former Trump staffer Alyssa Farah Griffin has been named as co host of The View. And she went from working for Trump to The View. That's like walking out of a hurricane and into a tornado. <laughs> it's like walking from a TJ Maxx and into an even louder TJ Maxx. <laughs> Hey, I saw that after nearly 60 years on NBC, the soap opera Days of Our Lives is moving to Peacock. <gasps> what did you say? Days of Our Lives is moving to Peacock. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> Tell me more. It will debut in September. How dare you? <laughs> Tell me more. It will be replaced in the time slot by NBC News. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? You said that already. You said that already. <laughs> Tell me more! No. Never. Not while you're holding that giant throwable martini. I'm not gonna throw this on you, man. I'm drinking this thing. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, bro. I'm gonna throw it on you. How dare you? Emmy, this is Emmy. Some business news. Red Lobster just announced a new sweepstakes that will award one person free Red Lobster for a year. I'll be honest, this seems like more of a dare than a sweepstake. <laughs> <laughs> Free Red Lobster for a year, it's like uh, winning the Mega Millions, but the exact opposite. Uh, it's, <laughs> Red Lobster is a strange place. I like that they have every type of seafood you could think of, and yet their most popular item is biscuits. <laughs> I read that the sales of uh, Beyond Meat are down due to mediocre reviews and an overall drop in interest in plant-based foods. But Beyond Meat isn't giving up. They just put out a new ad. I saw this today. Take a look. Um, hello, did you guys forget about us here at Beyond Meat? Where else are you gonna find a burger that's got fake blood, gooey texture, and an overt air of superiority? Oh, and did we mention it's expensive? So come eat a plant puck, you dumb <laughs> Beyond Meat. If things don't get better, we're just gonna sneak in some real cow. That's bold. Aggressive. Bold. Very bold. Yeah, bold. Hey, hey.